Good morning guys. I have been thinking to myself how much I love Kazakhstan. I've been here in Almaty, which has been an incredible experience for the last five days. And I just love how modern is the place, how beautiful is it, how much uh, cleanness you can see all around the city everywhere you go. And yeah, I'm just enjoying my time here. I wish more people know about this incredible country. Right now, I'm in a big square here. There's some event is happening, I guess. There are lots of people in this, uh, I don't know, should I call it a hall, I guess? More like a concert hall. It's possible that uh, it's some kind of uh, celebration regarding finishing the university or finishing the, the school, possibly. I'm not sure what is it, but I can see people like graduates here. Probably these are the people graduating from the university. Last time when I was here, I wanted to go for a cable car experience, which been a little bit tough because it was during the weekend and there were so many people just in front of here. And as you can see, we don't have a line anymore. We are going for a cable car experience here in Almaty. I already been experienced the, like two of them in the last months in Nepal so we will see how it goes here All right. we're gonna get the ticket right here and then starting point is just right in front of us which is cool The name of the place is called Kök Tebe and it's just right in the center of the Almaty. Good morning, Zdrastvite. Uh, for one person, how much is it? One way, 3,000. Uh, round, round trip, 5,000. 5,000, please. Thank round you. Trip? Round trip, please. Okay. Do you have an individual cabin? Mm -hmm. I can go alone, is it okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. Do you charge more for that? Or no? No? <laughs> Seeing tickets up and down, don't lose tickets. Okay, I, I should keep this. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Рахмат, спасибо. А можно отдельный? Да? Да? Супер, Рахмат. So, seems like I can go just myself alone. After the lady is here. It looks like something similar in Nepal actually, doesn't look so different and uh, our destination is somewhere right there, so it shouldn't be such a long trip. We'll wait for our turn, meanwhile uh, I can give you also the pricing, how much we are paying for, for experience, so if you want to just go up the hill and that's it, then you would be paying 2500 which is almost six dollars so i'm paying approximately 12 dollars 11 and 30 cents so almost 12 dollars for a round trip and i will have a chance to go individually not fade not like bother other people okay these ladies are gone too and then comes the turn for these ladies and then we are going ourselves Quite fast. One of the great things about being uh, free with my time and uh, travel vlogging is that I can choose the spots, choose the time of the day when I actually can go for the experiences. Because during the weekend, for example, here there are huge lines outside and also probably upstairs too. But right now it's middle of the week, so I can just basically come anytime I want, which makes me more comfortable to film and talk and show you everything. When there are people, it can be a little bit more complicated. All right, comes our turn. Here we go. This gentleman gonna get out and then we will sit in. Uh, 
the ladies are gone already okay here we go we are getting a gray cabin here and only eight eight people can fit in eight people per cabin all right let's go for this Ooh. beautiful the doors gonna close in a while and then we're gonna do more research how this place is it and we're gonna talk about other stuff okay doors are closing bye bye Woo, here we go incredible okay so after some point it's gonna take off quite fast Woo, that was fast already <laughs> nice and then we're gonna get some beautiful views to Almaty first things we see is the building right here on the right side further we go up we're gonna we're gonna have a better views for sure so this is only first column here and in a distance we can also see the television tower of Almaty which doesn't look so impressive considering other countries I have been to uh, it's just kind of like just a column goes up so but in other countries they really decorated and some of them are actually reconstructed to modern technologies with the lights and the reflection of the flag and everything for example in Istanbul I love uh, the one in Istanbul or in my country Azerbaijan and some other countries I have been to uh, the television towers are very very impressive all right we are almost up this is uh, where we have started right here so you are just right in the center it's actually very uh, comfortable and easy just to get in and uh, take yourself in a date adventure to up the hill to check out so we have the windows uh, which is very different uh, what's different from Nepali which I have been recently is that they have they put like this plastic things so people actually don't throw stuff as you can see there's also uh, explaining that don't throw stuff don't put your arm outside don't smoke don't swing it and of course don't make a fire here uh, in Nepal I could actually take my head out and my camera as well to show you better views but uh, I'm also fine with this it's beautiful very clean uh, easily eight people can fit in here it's nice and very comfortable the seats are uh, looking nice clean there's no drawings on the wall and uh, no other like a trash or anything so 10 out of 10 cleanness comfort for sure and for the price you pay to go up and down i think it's uh, it's it's nice so let me show you the views at the moment nothing too impressive i can see uh, leftover cars here some type of a garage i guess but i believe once we are up we're gonna have a much better views and the television tower comes closer to us i think we can take a walk actually to that area too and cloudy mountains in the distance it might be raining at some point possibly but uh, we will see what our what is our luck i think for now it's a beautiful weather to enjoy the views and also take the cable car back to talking more about uh, Kazakhstan uh, I haven't been so many places I only been in Almaty but I have to tell you guys I'm super impressed uh, with the level of uh, cleanness level of the English of the people speaking here especially the young generation and I do have some little Russian too so it helps me in case someone doesn't speak so I can explain myself ask for something pay for something so that knowing a little bit Russian will definitely save you in uh, in post-Soviet countries in general but I'm very impressed how the young generation uh, do speak English and quite well especially in the shopping malls in the center like a place like here the lady could explain me what's the price and it's a two-way and everything else and uh, another thing is that uh, how modern is Almaty in general as well as it's so civilized the streets where you go it's like so quiet and people are very respectful no trash on the street 
Uh, so I really appreciate it and I, I love Kazakhstan, at least for the first impressions. And I'm sure you can explore further mountains and different uh, parts of the nature in Kazakhstan, which should be impressive. Even when you're in the city center, for example, you see on this side, you have flat surface, like there is nothing. Uh, city is right here and then the rest is kind of empty, uh, which is not surprising because Kazakhstan has 20 million population and uh, around 2 million of them are living here. And Kazakhstan is one of the uh, biggest countries, it's actually ninth biggest country and uh, one of the, not one of the, actually the biggest landlocked country in the world. So, and once you have, you have the, like a flat surface, but also once you are looking to the other side, you can see massive mountains and the forest and uh, it's a quite green city too. So yeah, this is about the Kazakhstan. I love it and uh, I'm enjoying my time so much here. The prices are very affordable too if you're coming from the Western world. If you make your money in dollars, then you will have a great time here. But yeah, these are my impressions about, about beautiful Almaty. Seems like uh, there's a slide down. Oh. oh, maybe we should do that. I hope it does work. I would love to go for a ride. I have seen this in few places like Switzerland and other countries, but never experienced myself. So we might do the sliding down the hill, if it's a possibility, if the business is actually functioning right here. We will check, we will do our best to try out. So we are arriving to the station, which is the next station. And this is our spot where we're gonna get out, do a little exploration, maybe get something to drink too. And here we are. Was, uh, very aggressive. Here we go. Doors gonna close open for us, and then just get out. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Thank you. Спасибо. This is actually my second time someone takes my pictures. I'm filming them and they're taking my pictures, which is uh, cool. So, we have an Almaty eye here. We have the Ferris wheel just in front of us. We might possibly, possibly go for a ride. There is a cashier right there. We can buy a ticket. And we might go for the ride sliding down. I think that would be really cool. But first, I want to go explore other side of the city. It's a beautiful weather. Probably they do some kind of concert here too and collect all the people here. We have some music in the background, so I need to rush out to go to the other side. Wow, look at this. The views are getting better and better, guys. Here we have two gentlemen sitting down, enjoying their time in the park. And we have some uh, touristic items right there. We might just quickly check it out to see what they're selling. I have been recently to Kyrgyzstan. So they do have a very similar culture. It's a central and as a Central Asian country, uh, nomadic lifestyle and as well as their traditions and culture is very, very similar, which makes it that the products I've seen in Kyrgyzstan going to be similar things here. But always worth to check it out and see what we can buy. So we have the stairs taking us to the other side. Seems like it's also busy here. But my objective is to go check out the, the tower which is in front of us. Wow. So it's not just about the cable car experience. But once you are up here, you have so many other stuff to do too. Like activities, you can bring your kids here. They have some VR games you can play. They have a boxing thing here for 10,000. And this is the name of the, the place. It's called Kök Tobe. some more games here yeah. 
I know that I've been talking about the cleanness of the city so much. This is another great example. Of course, this is a commercial place. It should be clean. But, you know, people can easily throw stuff on the floor, which they don't. And I really appreciate that cleanness, how the city stays clean. Oh, we have a photo zone. It's kind of like a mirrors you walk in and you can bump your head probably there I, I i would probably bump my head there all right we have a music here let's go fast wow look at this you can actually play some uh games here too of course you put your safety kit in and then you can just walk on top of stuff wow that should be that should be hard pass right there And then you have the ticket stations where you can buy stuff. And then we have someone actually climbing. How cool is this? Okay, look at him, he's so high. And this gentleman is making sure he's safe. Oh, impressive. Even though he's not following the colors, but he's still going up quite well. And uh, we have the American roller coaster here too. I'm not sure if it's uh, functioning at the moment, probably no, because there's uh, two gentlemen fixing something on the top. So, incredible place. Look at this. So many things to play with and spend your time. I'm not sure if it's even possible to get to the tower. I'm sure there are gonna be better views from the tower, but I don't see the way to get there. This part is kind of closed, so we might try out this direction and then go down to see where it takes us. No, it's also closed. Okay, seems like uh, we cannot get to the tower that close, but I can show you the views from here, guys. This is the closest we can get to the tower. Quite uh, impressive. It's a very old structure. I am sure it's been built during Soviet Union and uh, no reconstruction done later on, probably on the surface at least. But yeah, this is all the telecommunication goes from here, televisions as well. Beautiful. All right, it's uh, time for me to go check out how much we are gonna pay for the sliding down. Hopefully it will be possible to do it. And I will see you later on the another part of the park. We just got tickets for the Ferris wheel, so we are gonna go for full experience. It costed me 2,500. I think entrance gonna be somewhere here. Trust it. I think he's gonna do it for us. Спасибо. Rahmat, спасибо. The ladies are cleaning the the cabins. Then we're gonna go for the white one. It's not too high, but looks quite cool. And then later we're gonna go for a coaster, fast coaster. All right, door's gonna open for us, hopefully. Ah, at it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so this one is locked. We have to wait for the for the red one. And the windows are open, so we're gonna have a better views to outside. Wow. It's a little bit noisy here. But I'm excited for going up the hill. Oh thank you very much. Spasiba. No thank you, brother. 
So even we are on the top of the hill, we're gonna go even a little bit higher to have uh, better views to Almaty, enjoy the views and also show you. We have actually uh, open windows, so which will give us the opportunity to show you the full and clear view. When we were on the cable car, it was completely locked. It's quite uh, slow, so it gives you the opportunity to enjoy it. I think last time I was on a Ferris wheel was in Kyrgyzstan, which is not the last time, but like two years ago, maybe two years and a half ago, or approximately two years ago, I was in Bishkek. They have something similar uh, in the city center of Bishkek. You can go up the hill, and I've been there with my German friends, so it was a cool experience. I just remembered sitting in similar cabin. So, the name of the place called Koktebe. It's not only one uh, cable car here actually, there should be at least two. At least I have seen in the maps with the same name it goes. And now we are going up the hill to see the views. Woo, very nice. And on our other end, it opens up uh, much clearer views. But on the right side, we can see the dark clouds coming up. It's amazing. This country is beautiful. I think once I ever decide to maybe settle down, get a property or live somewhere, I've been thinking like Almaty might be a possibility. I compare it with Dubai. I think Dubai is one of my favorite cities in the world and all the places I've been to because of the diversity and the comfort and uh, you can have, you have like access to anything you want except the weather is like so hot but when you compare it with Dubai Almaty is actually nicer weather and you get the same uh, level of life I would say because cleanness of the city the access to any type of entertainment food choices and you can also go to mountains and to the lakes and uh, it's quite safe too so I love, I love Almaty so far. So our next adventure gonna be this experience called for Fast Coaster. We will go in a while, but you also have the swing right here, um, which I can call it carousel. And we will go all the way down there somewhere. I'm not sure where we're gonna end up, but we will see. For now, we are enjoying the views to the Almaty city and we haven't talked about the cabin as you can see very nice very clean this is not a trash this is my paper for the fast coaster which I'm going next so I already purchased the tickets and meanwhile we are at the top we have the open views just like this I'm not sure this is allowed to do but views you can look at the downstairs where the people are going what they're doing I'm sure during the sunset times here is like fully packed so it's better to come in the morning if you are someone like me that don't like people so much and likes to enjoy quietness of the places then highly recommend right now we are at the top this is the peak point and not too high but you have a very nice views to the Almaty city. As you can see, this part of the city is like super flat. And then when you look at the left, all the mountains starts. So it gets more green starting from here. And then other end is more dry actually. And then we can see the television tower just in front of us. How cool is this? And maybe in a few minutes, the rain gonna come and catch us in the city center of Almaty. And I'm actually staying somewhere there. There's like a, this is, this is like Dostluk Plaza and I stay very close to it. So this is considered like city center of Almaty. And in Almaty, you don't actually have to go too far to get to the hot spots where you, wherever you want to enjoy, like a touristic stuff. I'm sure people are living around the city too uh, for cheaper prices or more quiet areas. But 
in general, if you stay in the city center, you can just do walking distance anywhere you like. And uh, for the price of the ferry wheel, we've been paying uh, almost six dollars for a ride. I feel like it's a reasonable price for such a service, such a views too. So I cannot say Almaty is the cheapest city I have been in Central Asia, definitely no. I think Tashkent, uh, possibly Bishkek is also the one of the cities that is very cheap. And these are the capital cities, but once you go to other cities, it can get even cheaper. And Almaty is the former capital city. So I'm assuming Astana will be a little bit more expensive, possibly. I'm not sure, I don't have uh, proper research to claim which one is a cheaper city but if you know let me know I would love to know guys so we are descending right now going down the views are still beautiful there are places you can shop sit down there's a very fancy restaurant on that corner it's called Abai I think that's another spot you can be so yeah this is our fair wheel experience guys I will see you uh, once we are taking that crazy fast coaster right might be quite fun and I will show you the rest of the experience there in a while. They also do have this upside down house experience. You can see the how the car is on the ceiling, which is cool. They have a very nice artwork on the there. This is where you have the carousel. You can also play some games on the left side. I'm not sure if I'm any good on those games, but it doesn't look so attractive to me, to be honest. And this is what we are going for. Fast coaster. It's going to be my first ever experience doing something like this crazy. And uh, maybe I will show you the views and then we go up, the, up, not up, down. We go up, down. No, we, don't, we go down, not up, down. And uh, we are paying actually 3,000 tenge, which is approximately seven American dollars. And they gave us uh, this paper, which we have to actually sign. It's kind of like a small contract, which we will do in a while. And these are the views. Woo! So impressive. And then with the coaster, we're gonna go all the way down right there. And our starting point is right here. These are the views to beautiful Almaty. And this is where we've been in the Ferris wheel. So maximum, maximum weight is actually 160 kilo, which allows me to go on the right. Then we have to put a signature here. To write my name. Okay, what's the day today? Okay, ten. Ten. And then my signature. Done. Done? Okay, we have to scan this here. And then go in. Adjust. Wow, even two people can go on this. Можно влог, да? Yeah? That's problem? No problem. Thank you. Спасибо. <laughs> Спасибо. He say uh, I am a guest, so I can I can actually film, which is uh, nice. So I'm I guess we are just waiting for the. Abudu connects is this or ah is this okay? So actually it comes back to here, so we don't have to walk down. We can just take the cable car where we came from, which is nice. Ah yeah, it says here is the exit when we arrive, we will end up our trip here. Azerbaijan. 
Baku, Baku da. Sen Türk Türkçe mi? Ha Türk, Türkçe bilirsiniz. Türk Güzel. <gülüyor> Siz Kazak Türk? Akska. Akska Türk. Akska Türk. Ha güzel, güzel, güzel. Memnun oldum. Nice. He speaks also Turkish. Nice. O zaman Türkçe konuşalım. Çok güzel. Bak benim benziyor ama İngilizce tam söylüyor. Ha da da. Nice. You can find lots of people here speaks uh, clear Turkish. Kazakh uh, language is also a Turkic part of a Kur Turkic language group. And uh, but they mostly speak like a Russian here as a main language for a communication. So I try my Russian, but sometimes they do speak Turkish so which makes it a little bit easier for me. Okay. Here's the two kids are just arrived. I think this is gonna be our ride. I don't know what to expect. We'll see. I'm nervous. At the tunnel, approach slow down, lower speed. Tam tam tu, tunel yes or tu, tunel mi var? Tunel yavaş girersin bu oldu. Ah. Wow, that was fast. Okay. All right. Nice. Tunel açan bas. Evet. Tunel yavaş girsen bu. Tormuz et. Böyle gaz geri tormuz. Bu gaz, bu tormuz. Yeah. Okay. Just go straight. Спасибо. Rahmet. So just straight. It's basically allowing more speed. And then when you pull back, it stops. Salam alaikum. Salam atsınız mı? All good? Okay. Good, good. Good? Хорошо, да? Тунель есть, тунель. Тунель. А, где тунель? А, этот. Okay. Потихоньку заезжаем. Okay. Slowly. Tormos. Yes. Okay. When I'm tunnel, I stop yes. slowly. Slowly. Slowly. So, okay. Go. Go. All right. Спасибо. Рахмад. Yes, very ready. <laughs> Спасибо. Oh, wow. Woo. This is so cool, guys. This is my views. Wow, that's so fast. Woo. Woo oh my God, that's really fast. What is so fun? Woo. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so cool! Woo! Woo! So all you need to do just front goes fast as you can see. Woo! Ah stop for a bit. I cannot stop here, I should go fast. This is my views! Woohoo! That's amazing! And oh my god! The fact that they allowed me to film, it's amazing! Woo! Oh my god! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Wow, this is incredible, guys! So much fun! Oh my god, that was fast! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Incredible! Slow down! Okay, police! Slow down! It says I have to slow down here. Nice. Okay. I think from here it's gonna start going, going itself. Ah, okay. Now I don't need to use my arms. I'm free. All right. We have a caution here. It says, please keep your seats and don't unfasten your brake belt. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. I don't have to do anything. It just goes up. This is incredible, guys. I love it. Such a cool experience. Kazakhstan just get keep getting better and better and better and better. I love it. Woo! And the rest of the trip, you don't have to do much. But it was quite fast. I think like uh, 30, 40 km per hour at some point. And right now we are going like, well, like a bicycle speed, maybe 10, 15 km per hour to up, up the stream. But yeah, you don't have to do much. You just stay here, 
relax with your legs and then enjoy the ride to up I was expecting that we're gonna actually walk up but no I didn't know that this is actually gonna take you all the way upstairs great experience guys you have to do this once you're here I'm sure during the week there's a line for doing this activity and super safe too Woo. end of a track Super, спасибо, брат. <laughs> that was nice. Да. All right. Брат, спасибо. Рахмат, салам. Аллах разу осу. Bye bye. Wow, the gentleman been amazing. Спасибо, брат. That was a such a cool ride, guys. The gentleman been super incredibly nice, and I had a great experience. You have to do this for seven American dollars. So much fun! You can go fun. You can go with your uh, friends. You can go with your kid. Even experience something really cool. All right, we are heading back. We're gonna take the ride downstairs, and I'm gonna see you in the next video from this beautiful Kazakhstan. I will be in Almaty mainly, so all the vlogs will be from Almaty. But yeah, signing out with the beautiful views for you in this beautiful place in Almaty. Bye bye for now.